Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So at the title of the video, probably given away, I eventually bought a Rise Tello. So the reason I'd never bought one of these, it came at a time when I was testing loads of other quads and I was buying other stuff. And I did think at £99, or I think it was 109 actually, just for the drone was a bit expensive. So I never bought one. And I was a bit marmite with it. I'd watched reviews and some people were up and some people were down with it. The app wasn't the best which has now been improved, having said that it's still not the finished article. And then you had to buy the controller extra and, and it was just expensive. So I bought this from Drones Direct uh, a couple of weeks ago, so I've tested it quite a bit now. And I paid 50 for that, 20 for that and 15 for the case. So this was a reconditioned unit and then the case and the controller. I think the controller was new. So I've got £85, which to me is a lot better than the hundred and odd just for this. Now it has come down in price significantly and it's going to keep coming down because the Iron Man Tello came out which is virtually, to me looks exactly the same drone with a slightly different app except they painted it red and gold. Thank you very much Rice for doing that because you've pushed the price of this down because I've now seen it's at 79 new retail in most places this week so it has made a massive difference. So I'm going to do a really quick review on it because you've all seen this before but this is the unit itself it's got a 720p stabilised camera, it uses its version of EIS, it has sensors underneath for optical flow and it does hold its position ridiculously well and it's superb indoors. So if you have this indoors, I literally had this hovering for the full 11 minutes, I think it was 11 or 12 minutes flight time, in the corner of my room and it did not move. It stayed there so if I'd have had kids in the room and I wanted to film them playing or something, it would have absolutely been brilliant for that didn't move so indoors fantastic outdoors it, it will handle breathe i've got four or five mile an hour this thing doesn't really move anything over that you're going to get an issue but it's controllable so i do not like using um my phone to fly you'll know that if you watch the videos i actually love flying this thing with a phone and that is because it's so stable it just does exactly what it says on the tin it stays in its position and you fly it around and you let go of this let go of moving forward, it will just sit there. It won't wallow about, it won't move about, it'll just sit there. With a controller, I don't know if it's actually as good. So this is the controller, that, this is the Game 3 controller, this is the one that's recommended for it. I think you can use other controllers, but they're not 100% compatible. Really nice controller, do not get me wrong, fantastically finished off controller, very nice textured finish, the buttons feel superb, the sticks feel superb, absolutely superb, this for using your PS4. Has a holder there for your phone and I do like it but I don't know if it flies as well with that as this does with just the phone. Might just be me. So I really do like it. When you buy a reconditioned one of these, the one I got from Drones Direct, this is what you get, what it's in my hand. It comes in a, in a box and it's just like that. It's immaculate, it's totally unmarked, it looks like brand spanking you and it does come in a sealed packet but it's not in the Rise Tello packaging. No, everybody's aware that this has some DJI technology going on inside it and if I hadn't flown it I might not have believed that but it probably it definitely has something going on because it's the most stable mini drone I've ever flown. Uh, I have a Parrot Mambo, you'll see the review of that coming shortly because I bought the mission pack with the FPV pack with it and it flies nice but not as nice as this. I've also got the Me Too Mini Drone which I reviewed ages ago which has 720p onboard store, 720p camera but it has onboard storage where this doesn't uh, and that has optical flow again this is much much better and certainly the camera's yeah it's better. So the only thing that I have still have an issue with this and it's the thing that first put me off when it first came out is there's no onboard storage there's nowhere for an SD card it records to your phone with that you're going to get glitching on, if it glitches on your phone, it's going to glitch on your video. There's not a lot you can do about that if you use a Wi-Fi extender, it improves it slightly. But Wi-Fi being Wi-Fi, you're going to get drop out. It's going to happen. So I thought when the Iron Man one was a bit renounced, it would have onboard storage. Again, they haven't done that, which I find a bit strange. If this thing had onboard storage, it would be killer. I still think it's fantastic. I think it's a fantastic starter drone for anybody. I think it's good for kids, adults that just want to get into it, someone that wants to want to film every now and then to get some decent kind of footage, because it is decent. Go down to the beach with one of these, I'd imagine you get some really nice shots of your kids playing at the beach. It is good, don't get me wrong, very good. 
the only thing I have the issue is, is the recording to here. So, the review I'm doing today is based on the app that comes from Rise themselves. I am well aware that there is the FPV app which looks absolutely amazing. It doesn't work on my iPhone, I put it on my Android phone and I will do a video on that shortly to show you how much how well that looks because it pulls apart from using this app. But this is the app that comes with it. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is a bad app by any stretch of the imagination. This has improved, I believe, over the years, since it's, over the year or so since it's been out. And it's a good app. It's just not the app that people were looking for. The FPV app by the guy that's done that has made an absolutely amazing job of it. So here you go, I'm going to show you the phone. Everybody's seen this before, but I'm going to show you anyway. So that's the feed coming from your phone. It's fantastic. You can see very, very little latency. Fantastic latency ability. You've got the controls on the top so I can switch between camera and video mode and then you have some flight mode so you've got up and away, throw and go, 360 circles, 8D flips and the bounce mode. So every single one of these I've tried works perfectly well. I haven't tried one that doesn't work. Some of them are a bit strange, I have no idea why you'd have the, um, the bounce mode and my little boy loves the throw and go mode. So. Uh, it really is a nice piece of kit. So that's basically the app. I'm going to go. Fa I'm going to go in more detail on the FPV app when I do that, and I'll show it you properly. But what I like about this, there is quite a lot of things on here that I like. You can adjust your slow and fast speed. You can connect to a controller. I believe you can connect to other controllers, but that is the only 100% compatible. So I believe anyway. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, list the comments. If there's a different one you can use. So yeah. I think it's great. At this was $109.99 when it came out. Um, and certainly at that price, I think it was... We know on board storage, it's what always were going to put me off this thing. And it never really came down. I've seen it at £90 in places, maybe 99s and 90s. But when this when I got this for 50 quid, then it was a no-brainer. £50 was an absolute bargain for this me. And then, like I say, I've only got about 85 quid in the whole setup. And I've got another battery for it now, so on order should I say so yeah it's fantastic so I really do like it I think it's smooth it's easy and it's fun which is the main thing this is the fun thing to fly even with your phone I never thought I'd say that even with your phone this is a ridiculously nice thing to fly you can have so much fun with it because it just does what it says on the tin my little boy had a go with this thing and was absolutely perfect with it in seconds on the phone he'd never used the phone controlled one before it was perfect on this win seconds. That's how easy this thing is to fly. So it's not an advert for this. I was always my mate about this. I never knew whether I'd like it or not. But yeah, fantastic. So what I'm going to do is then I'll leave you some footage of it just hovering outside to show you how well it hovers outside. It was about three or four miles an hour wind. And there's just a quick bit of footage. I've only flown this outside my front door in the garden and just outside my house. Um, and like I said, the reason I didn't do a proper flight test is because I want to do the flight test with the FPV app and not this app. So enjoy that bit, what's coming up. Thanks ever so much for watching and thanks for your support as always.